buyback brian is back boys and girls it is day three of back to the dawn i believe i get my meeting with my lawyer today my health is pretty low i don't have to poop my mind is doing great my mind is telling me no but my body sorry um yeah so we're gonna head out to headcount we're gonna meet the lawyer and we're gonna get a whole bunch of backstory attention quiet assholes it's count time one two three everybody's present seems no one wants to cause trouble that makes me happy let me remind you i don't deal with trouble i deal with the guy who causes trouble i have an announcement listen up the report from the nutritionist visit last month said your meals aren't balanced i think it's a load of horse shit but the warden has decided to take the advice so starting today there'll be more choices for lunch but this isn't charity they're not free if you want them you gotta pay for them shut your holes i don't give a shit if you eat or not dismissed visitation time fish you stood up straight during the head count it really made me want to pin a medal on you we're gonna watch it i'm not interested in your medal you know what i want he <laughs> he okay i'll quit messing with you I just heard from visitation that your lawyer's been notified. Now get your ass to the visit room, but remember, don't go causing any trouble. Gotta watch it for the for the lore purposes. Oh, look at Reed. He's so cute. This is the right time. Why isn't he here? Tomas! Stand at attention. I will now repeat the visitation rules. If you understand, say I understand. One, no touching the glass partition. No loud noises. The time limit is 30 minutes. Now take your seat and don't try anything funny. All right, let's take a seat. Hi, Reed. Hi, buddy. I came as soon as I received notice from the prison. How are you? You don't look too good. Really? I thought I was putting on a brave face. I didn't expect you to see right through it. Looks like this hellhole really is as bad as everyone says. To be honest, I could really use a few comforting words. But now might not be the time. We only have 30 minutes. We need to hurry. Sure, I know the only thing you want right now is to take down the bastards who set you up. As your partner, I feel the exact I feel the exactly same way. That's weird, English. So tell me, what clues have you found? Remember I told you that I investigated the Baroness Bar? We said there was a lead relating to the mayor. That's right, I did some digging and found out the mayor's former driver was a regular at that bar. Wait, former driver? Bingo! Looks like prison has indulged your journalistic instinct. I say former because that driver who goes by the name of Domino disappeared six months ago. Oh no. Did everything I could to find out his whereabouts. Eventually, one of my contacts in the police found a file about this prematurely closed case. There was a car crash also six months ago and the driver that died was none other than Domino. The mayor's driver died in a car crash? Strange, right? Even though he was the mayor's driver, the case didn't get any coverage. Even you didn't hear about it. And you're the best reporter I know. So you mean... Looks like somebody wanted to silence him. Whatever the truth is, there's over a hundred bars in the city. But that caller specifically chose the one where Domino was a regular. Baroness. Probably not just a coincidence. So you think whoever called that night definitely had something valuable to say. Yeah, even if she doesn't really have a recording, it might still have something to do with Domino. Then I guess we have to find her. That's exactly why I'm here today. She's very cautious. Baroness was just a relay station. The bartender said she won't be easy to find now that we've missed the meet. Unless she left some other message at the time, like a code for her identity. Code for her identity? What is it? Do you remember something? I remember that night I took the call. It was late and it was raining outside. Dun dun dun. Flashback. Maple Road Apartment Block. Ooh. Fancy water graphics. I was just going over the day's interviews. Hmm. The data shows that the lung infection rate of residents increased by 25% after the chemical plant was built. And, and the incidence of skin disease in children shot up by 40%. Holy crap. It's late. I hope it's not some sales call. Hello? Are you Tom from Woodpecker TV? Yes. 
get thirty thousand dollars in cash i have you want something i want i have evidence of the mayor taking a bribe i know you're investigating it yeah since that report everyone knows i'm investigating it but i'm not gonna lie i've encountered a lot of people claiming to have information like you but it always comes to nothing do you think i'm lying i know how much of a risk do you know how much of a risk i'm taking by calling you sorry miss i'd like to believe you but i've fallen for far too many scams lately if you fell for them you weren't smart enough but if you don't believe me you're stupid listen up i'll only this once it's up to you if you believe me or not i have a tape of the mayor taking a bribe bring thirty thousand dollars in cash to the baroness bar at skid row tomorrow you can find the in the red in front of your apartment building just show it to the bartender when you get there remember i'll only wait one day wait the red what you broke up just now hey she was in a real rush to hang up i'll look for the thing she mentioned see if i find anything then i'll decide whether to believe her or not It's raining cats and dogs. I should have brought an umbrella. Do, do, do. You want some crackers? Do, do, do. You get some too. Question mark. A pot of red flowers. Hmm. If she wanted to hide something on a busy street, this would definitely be a good place. Hidden in plain sight. I'll take a look. Aha. The soil in the pot seems to have been disturbed not too long ago. I think I found something. Oh, we got a nice card. Card. Luckily, it was buried quite deep. It's still dry. Let's see what it says. Enjoy our late night carnal pleasures. Is that the name of a cocktail or something else? Well, what do you think, Thomas? Baroness. That's an interesting name. We got the stamp. What's this? It looks like it's been stamped on looks like a loyalty stamp it's usually three for a free drink 96 pink lamp street turn left at the back alley hours dust till dawn back alley off pink lamp street did she leave this because she's afraid i wouldn't be able to find the address just an ordinary business card although it seems they offer more than just drinks Guess she's probably just trying to lure me to the bar and bleed me dry. Eh, if Reed ever finds out what happened tonight, I'll never live it down. Well, Reed did find out, and it's actually important. So she didn't leave the car because she was worried I wouldn't be able to find the bar? She left it because there's a code on it? Think so. The card has a pattern, pattern stamped on the back. First glance, it doesn't appear to be anything special. Looks a bit like a maze. I thought it was just the bar's loyalty stamp, but I didn't take any notice of it. A maze, yes, that's what we're looking for. When I was an intern, I used to spend a lot of time in the alleyways of Skid Row. The alley girls created their own way of soliciting customers to avoid being detected by the police. They take their information, like species, age, vital statistics, and simplify them into line patterns. And of course, their names and where to find them. They distribute these patterns in places frequented by potential clients. Places like Baroness? Exactly. Some of the more expensive alley girls embroider their patterns on hotel napkins, while some of the cheaper ones were graffiti theirs on alley walls. But the one looking for you had a stamp engraved on the bar's business card, which does make things convenient. The customer requires her services, the bartender can translate the pattern then and there. So that's why she told me to show something to the bartender. It seems that if I take this card back to Baroness, I'll be able to inquire about her whereabouts. That business card, I remember putting it in my wallet. I didn't touch it again after that. Then I had my wallet on me when I was arrested, so it was transferred here with my other personal belongings. During intake, the guard told me my personal belongings will be kept in the prison storeroom until I'm released. So the one thing we need is stuck in the prison storeroom. Guess that means the task of getting it falls to me. Remember, it's for your innocence and freedom. And to bring down those sons of bitches. Hey, as your partner, I won't let you go out alone. Got a little something for you. Something good that should make things a lot easier. The guards eyeing us. I can't say much. Anyway, when we're finished here, go get the thing I sent you. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Figure out how to get the $30,000 together. It's not a small amount. Thank you, Reed. Give me a break. You owe me more favors. You owe me more favors than you can possibly pay back in this lifetime. 
Time's up. Call me when it's done. All right. On we go to act one, the lost card. Good place to think is on the pooper. Hmm. Inmate property storeroom. I can tell from the name that no prisoners are allowed anywhere near there. If I want to get in, I'll have to at least find out where it is in the prison first. Just before the visit ended, Reed said he'd sent me something, something that would make it easier for me to move around here. First, I'll get my hands on whatever that is. It might be able to help. All right. I need health. Health is very important. But first, I got to get my mail. Do I need anything? Ask about mailed items. Is this the place to collect things sent in from the outside? That's right. What did you want to collect? A letter or a package? Maybe a package. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. I'll tell the truth. The mail room is too busy to handle all the incoming mail. And now the warren has gone and introduced a package service to boot. I'm sure you heard. The guys in the mailroom can't even keep up with inspecting the mail, let alone organize and sort it. So you can imagine the mess it's in when it's handed over to me. It looks at the cart next to him. It's all here. I don't have time to sort through anything today. If you want to collect something, you can search for it yourself. Good luck finding it. All right, let's do that. Billy's goods in the corner. Looks like it's going to take some work. All right. Let's observe the cart. Huh? All right. Luckily, these things are numbered. Bingo. The pile is a mess, but it seems that most of the items for prisoners in cell block A is on the right. In that case, I'll search from right to left. That way I should be able to find it faster. Love that. Give me a 10. Give me an 11. And we got it. Found it. Looks like it's this envelope. <laughs> Reed sure has terrible handwriting for a lawyer. Okay. I gotta go to the table in my cell now. Can't just open it here. Gotta go all the way back to the cell. And like you hate to see it. Read Reed's letter. Let's take a look at the envelope first. The contents of the letter have passed inspection. Okay. It's a resealed envelope. It looks like every letter sent into this prison is open and inspected. Youthful memories are a tonic that offers an escape from misery. Youthful memories? Has Reed finally lost his mind? Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anything special about the envelope. I got a nice picture. A photo from college. I was so young back then. <laughs> Maggie sure looks angry. Her forehead is wrinkled from ear to ear. I admit I didn't realize she liked me at the time. I always thought thought she preferred the punk type. Never thought we'd be together for six years after graduation. Judy, Maggie's roommate. I had the I had a crush on her at the time. I mean, what fox wouldn't like a rabbit? But I guess it's hard for a rabbit to like a fox. Later, Maggie mentioned she married a moose after graduating. <laughs> I guess you never can tell how things will turn out. I was so introverted back then. Just the thought of giving a gift to a girl would make me blush. I just remember that I was so nervous that my mind went completely blank. I was rooted to the spot. This photo was taken by Reed. He was always screwing around, never took anything seriously. Who would have thought that after graduating, he'd become a lawyer while well, I picked up the camera? Okay, that's enough rem reminiscing about the good old days. Reed sent me this photo. There must be some message hidden in it. Maybe the clue lies within the four of us, but what could it be? My gift. If my memory serves me, it was a stupid gift. It's one of Reed's terrible ideas. Could that be the clue? Yeah, we'll watch it. Get you guys all caught up. One day, seven years ago, can't remember the time. Omas, what, did you just roll a nine? A three and a four. Looks like I'm short by two. 
Damn, if your arrow misses that gnome, I'm dead. Okay, let me think. Use the invisibility potion item. Maybe I can throw you this potion so you can dodge the monsters next turn. But the bow and arrow is a two-handed weapon. I remember you haven't learned the three-hand specialty yet. Without an extra hand, according to the rules, you can't throw anything. Guess that makes sense. Use the rolling shot skill. How about I cast this skill to shoot another arrow? Maybe I'll hit it this time. Come on, man. Skill description reads, grants an extra shot after moving. Have you forgotten that you just got hit by the phantom spider's paralyzing web? Oh yeah, I can't move for two turns. Use the ultimate focus card. I can use this card. It adds two hit points. Hang on. You only have one focus point, but it costs two to use this card. Also, it has to be used before the attack, but you've already finished making it. Fine, I guess I messed up. We're giving up. Oh, well, looks like we'll have to restart the quest again. I say, you seem distracted. Um, do I? Very. you rushed at the horde of monsters right at the start of the quest. Didn't pick up any items and didn't use invisibility. Come on, your class is a ranger, not berserker. Sorry, I should have concentrated more. Ah, still worrying about what gift to get for Judy? I, I'm right, aren't I? I can read you like an open book. To be honest, I'm not even sure I want to give her anything this time. You know, ever since I asked her to the movie, she's been acting weird to me. Man, why are you always so hesitant when it comes down to the crunch? I didn't see you being so overcautious when we were up against those monsters just now. If you fail a quest in game, you can just start again. But when it comes to feeling, sometimes you only get one life and no continues. Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, I just thought of a way to make you invisible make you invisible in your love quest what would that be brave adventurer go to the bookshelf on the left right next to my camera there you find a film canister open it and a great treasure will be revealed put aside your doubts adventurer who cannot even shoot a monster trust in my guidance very well master reed guess i'll go look at the bookshelf then after sitting for so long i could do with stretching my legs What do we get at the bookshelf? Reed's precious camera. To be honest, his photography skills aren't up to much, but I could never say it to his face. Looks around the camera. Hey, I found the film canister. Open the film canister. Let's see what Reed has in store for me. Found clear solution. The clear solution that Reed hid in this film canister. Will it help you confess your love? Not unless it's magical. There's no film in the canister, just a small bottle of clear solution. Hey, Reed, what's this bottle? It's not some knockoff cologne, is it? Of course not. It's a magic mixture that I painstakingly developed. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What does it do? Borrowed it from the school's dark room. It's a special pho photographic developer that changes color when exposed to high temperatures. Eh, you know, the advanced math finals are pretty tough. I need all the help I can get. But to help my best friend with his romantic struggles, I'm willing to give it to you. Use it to solve my romantic struggles. You're worried that you'll be embarrassed to see Judy again if she rejects you, right? Well, this will let you avoid that. So first you write a poem confessing your undying love. That's your forte, right? Then you use the developer like ink and write your poem on something. It has to be something that gets hot when you use it. Then you just wrap it up and give it to Judy. So you mean... If she has feelings for you, she'll definitely use the thing you give her and see your love problem. She doesn't have feelings for you. Even if she just accepts the gift to be polite, chances are she won't use it. In that case, she'll never find out about your secret crush on her, right? But what is something that gets hot when you use it? Let me think. You think away, Reed. Hey, how about this magic crystal ball lamp that came with Witchcraft Collector's Edition? Just imagine your poem being projected on the ceiling of Judy's bedroom. How romantic. I don't think it would be a good idea. Trust me, man, your arrow just missed the gnome, but this Cupid's arrow is sure to hit the bullseye. So it's invisible ink. Photographic developer that changes color when exposed to high temperatures. Is Reed trying to remind me of this? What could that mean? We're looking closer. The back of the photo does have a faint yet pungent smell. It doesn't feel very smooth. Reed must be up to his old tricks again. There must be something written on it. Now I have to find a way to heat it up and reveal the hidden message. Put it in your pocket. All right. 
We gotta go to work. We need some money. It is 10 o'clock, so I can get a little bit of work in. What kind of quest you got for me? Feels good to see people from the outside, doesn't it? Thank you for the visitation privilege. Yeah, just the tip of the iceberg of my power. And there's lots more privileges I'm able to grant. Getting you a single cell, more daily phone calls, even keep keeping fish and flowers in your cell. Anything can be arranged. What are you trying to say? Listen, good. These official privileges are stuff like work assignments. They all need quite a lot of good conduct credits before you can apply. But it ain't easy for a new fish like you to save up that many. You need to work hard every day and be careful not to screw up. So, I'm a reasonable guy. I'd like to see you new fish get a raw deal. So I've come up with a special fast track. Just like how we helped each other out the last time. You just need to run a few errands for me. Then you'll get special approval for lots of good conduct credits. The more you do, the more you'll earn. That's what I'm trying to say. Think about it. We can do this. Keep your ears open. I probably did that already. I, I can only get one quest, huh? I don't need this anymore. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't do that anymore. It used to uh build them up before you even got the quest. That's crazy. All right, let's go work in the laundry room, huh? So glad we can automate this. I'm gonna leave the work to Tomas. And we're gonna examine the iron. The iron is still very hot from ironing the clothes just now. Close the steam valve at the bottom, then I can use it to heat up the photo. Yeah, let's do that. I have to judge it just right. I mustn't burn the photo. That's a big number. 22. We love that. And we got a five. Gives me a 15. I need a 13. That's 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 a 12. That's literally literally as bad as we could do. Crazy. All right, it worked. The pattern has appeared on the back. What's this? Oh, a map of the prison. Reed used invisible ink to draw a map of the prison on the back of the photo. I have to admit, he could be a real genius sometimes. Names of the buildings on the map are marked here. What exactly did Reed find out this information? Did he have a friend in the municipal archives? The building in the middle is the main building. My cell is in the right corridor. Based on the map, the walls of the building are much thicker than they seem. The pipe area in the walls must take up a lot of space. This is the admin building located under the yard. The main entrance to the prison and the parking lot are also located here. And it's where the administrative employees and the warden work. It's probably difficult for inmates to go there except during visitation. Next is the area at the top. The laundry room is against the fence on the left. The infirmary is on the right and the angular building next to it is... Wait a minute. That building is labeled mail room and inmate property storeroom. That's the place I'm looking for. And it looks like inmate property storeroom and mail room are in the same building. In other words, if I can find a way to get to the mail room, I have a chance to get into the storeroom. Good thinking, Thomas. Tomas. I remember Billy saying the mail room is really short-handed right now. Maybe I can use that as an excuse to see him again. Put the map away. Work some more. Work, 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 work. You got one more. We need that money, Thomas. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we need to eat something that's going to give me body. But also, we need to overhear 10 conversations. Order food. What do you want to eat? I need lots of body. None of these are giving me lots of body. That's crazy. That stinks. Eat the mushroom pasta. 
eating pasta with a spoon is really tiring what do you think chris can i get some fries eh. nah we're gonna get up we're gonna overhear whatever conversations we can Can I go through here yet? Cafeteria's back door is behind the gate. It must lead to the kitchen. The gate seems to be unlocked. Beautiful. What do we got back here? Didn't find anything. Of course. What do we got here? Tries to open the door. It won't open, but I can hear people talking inside. Damn, this card sucks. I can't lose again. I borrowed this money. Quit stalling. Deal. Sounds like they're playing cards. I think I know what this is. What is it? Let me in. Voice behind the door. Don't knock. Say the password. Guess the password. Open says me. Password is open says me. Are you messing with me? I'm not in the mood for this shit. Don't know the password. If you don't know the password, you're not getting it. Ask how to get the password. If you want to know the password, you have to ask my big brother straw. That's him at the right counter. Now we're going to rest. We'll go back to that next time. Because I need to figure out how to heal. Hoping there's something... Something here in the vending machine that can give me some healing properties. Body 10. Yogurt is expensive, but we're going to have to buy it. Because we need to heal up. I wonder if I can just go to the infirmary will willy-nilly. I have no idea, honestly. All right, good. Now. We need to... Finish this. So I need Eddie. Where, oh, where could Eddie be? See if we got any quests while we're over here. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do any of that, honestly. Can I sell him information? Actually, I can. All right, we need to gather up on information while we're out here. Where are you, Eddie? If you were Eddie, where would you be? You think he's going poop? Don't need that right now. I know I'm unable to reach that. I'm going to have to hope that I run into Eddie at night, huh? You Eddie? No, you're Wilbur. Let's see if he's uh, praying over here. We got mint. Hell yeah. Get a little mint roll up going on. Joseph. We've got everybody accounted for except for Eddie. Pull out the weeds. Is there anything good in here? Nope. But it does give agility experience. Go in here because it's free. Oh, Eddie. Edward? No, Edward. Hey! Hello, my child. Welcome to the Hall of Father. I'm Father Anderson, and I'm here to spread his teaching and administer his blessings. He will lead us on the path of salvation. Ask about the prayer. Father, I've read the prayer. Although I was moved, I didn't understand some of it. Can you give me some guidance and clear up my confusion? Father, the forest would never reject a new shoot. Though I'm his worldly servant, part of my words is limited. If you're willing to bear fruit for him, you may take this. 
what do we got the voice of the forest contains the father's teachings clear up your confusion I'm willing to sell it to you for half the price I also have some amulets carrying one of these will strengthen your faith when you pray my child please don't misunderstand me I don't have the right to give them as a gift as they are property of the church as his faithful servant I don't care for money any money I receive will be donated to the church he he what do we got can't afford none of that so we're gonna keep it moving we don't need to pray because our mind is full. We don't have tons of money. We do have more intel we can sell. I really need to finish this Black Claw Gang quest. It means I need to find Eddie the Opossum. Opossum, obviously. I just like saying Opossum. We're going to keep the mint, sell the iris, sell the mushrooms. Okay. That should give us enough money to come in here, pay the entrance fee. Where are you at, Eddie? I need to get this done. You're Robert. Dude, I've searched this whole place. He's nowhere to be found. It's crazy. I don't even know what to do now. I just paid money to get in here for nothing. Makes no sense how sometimes just people aren't out on the yard. Oh, well, we'll catch them tonight. We'll rest up. Make sure we're fully rested. Go get some din din. Over here, some conversations. Collect some dinner. Yeah, give me the cream. Beautiful. All right. Now we got to find Eddie. If you were Eddie, you're normally. Oh, did I finish this? Good. Turn this in. Eavesdropping. Looks like you've heard a lot of interesting stuff. Oh, I did. You got more? Befriend some people. Read a book. I'm gonna do the reader book one and do that tomorrow all right eddie there he is found the sneaky bugger do i have charisma i can turn in i do do this one I got some intellect too huh yes more more quests please agility anti-theft locks definitely all right Eddie hold on hold on wait a minute no wait it's Kevin I need god damn it Kevin was in there too. Son of a bitch. Why don't I read? Why don't I read? So mad at myself. I got to find Kevin. Who I had already found. Smelly. Smelly makes this harder, I believe, right?
Come here, Kevin. We gotta do this. Oh, and more people money. Okay, so... Did I eat the gum already? I think I did eat the gum. 42. We gotta do this. Come on, give me the 8. Thank you so much. Took three days. Okay, okay, I get it. Please tell the champ boss that I'll get the money together by tomorrow. All right. Good. We did it. Don't waste my time. Deliver the quest. Did they promise to pay up? At least now I can save two paper clips and two shoelaces. Nice. I got a hundred bucks. What else you got for me? You don't have any? What do we got in the gang store? It's one of the three major gangs. We have a number of supply lines. They let us bring in all sorts of good stuff inside. You can pay to order stuff and after head count the next day, you'll find it under your bed. What do we got? Anything we need? You know? Not yet. But for later. Get a laxative. We'll get ourselves a laxative. I just punched my mic. Sorry if you guys heard that. Now, I know this is a guy you want to befriend. Is he a tiger? My legs suddenly feel weak. Um, hello. I'm new here. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good. I saw you here all by yourself, which he's not. You don't seem to have any friends. So I thought I'd come and say hello. You done? Yes. Then you can go. He's scarier than he looks. Smoking alone is his only hobby, which is good to know. Because this is how we befriend John the Tiger. Whose name really should be Tony. I need to get him a nice mint roll up. You know, mint in quotation marks. Hey John, would you would you like a would you like a mint roll up? He's a big fan of the mint roll up. The funny thing is, is you can sometimes buy mint roll ups and then give them back to him. Hilarious. All right, we're smelly. Let's, uh, let's do this. Take a shower. Use some soap. Glad you got rid of the strange smell, sir. All right. Now you have more quests that I can get. I need to befriend the three of these people. So let's do that. Pikmin's one of them. Hiss, hiss, befriend. Looks a little creepy. I'd rather not talk to him. Shit, he seems to be looking this way. Hiss, hiss, come closer. Who, me? Hiss, perfect. Now, take off your clothes. What? Why? I'm sorry, I didn't mean any harm. Just get so excited when I see a good model. I tend to forget myself. Hiss, I'm Pikmin. I'm an artist. I have a small gallery in the old town. Hiss, if you know about art, you may have heard of Infernal Feast. That's my work. I think I've heard of it. Hiss. But that's all in the past. I'm looking for a new model now. Hiss. Seeing you has reawakened my inspiration. Hiss. I'm already picturing a beautiful composition of you lying in pieces in a pool of blood. In pieces. Hiss. The theme of my work is the beauty within the process of death. This guy is messed up. Okay, that, that did it, right? That's all I had to do for him? These are archived. I need Wilbur the goat and Miguel the tapir. Wilbur's right here. The wheels of fate are turning. Befriend. You are here. I have been waiting a long time. Wait, you knew I'd come to you? Of course. The messenger of the stars has long been turning the wheels of fate. Are you reading from a script? 
You are the twisted key destined to unlock the shackles of reincarnation. Um, I don't understand what you mean. The ritual of the coming preparations are afoot. It gazes in the dark. This guy's a couple of cans short of a six pack. The blood soaked dagger, the flickering flame, the lost pattern. The end is the beginning. I will guide you in your mission mission. You feel an inexplicable fear come over you. Oh, I just remembered. I have something urgent to take care of. See you around. Fate is a rain. The more you run, the tighter it pulls. Hmm. Now, Wilbur the Tapir. Where do you think we're going to find him? Not you, Vladimir. You can do whatever the hell you think you're doing over there. I need Wilbur. Where do we think Wilbur is? That's Bernard. Not over here. Go back to our cell. That's Sam I am. Rudolph, the reindeer, how clever. Hmm. Again. Nowhere to be found, as usual. Always somebody I need to find. But cannot be found. Are any of you guys Wilbur? That's Miguel. Oh, it's Miguel, not Wilbur. Perfect. How convenient. Relax, take your time. Your nose looks a little strange. Watch my nose swing from side to side. Relax. Three, two, one, sleep. What the hell are you doing? How, how are you still awake? Didn't my hypnosis work? Under his breath. Which step went wrong? Did I swing my nose too slowly? Hypnosis? Did you just try to, try to hypnotize me? Could have been the supersonum condition. He will make an ex excellent subject. Hmm, please lie down here. I want to try using reverse hypnosis. This guy is definitely not normal. I better stay clear of him. No, it's fine. Listen. Attention. What is it? Trio of freaks. Job done good. I guess that makes you freak number four. Beautiful. Can I uh, work? Work in the staff block. What is that? It's new. Hmm. What about you, Billy? You need anything? Ask about the mailroom. Hi, Billy. I overheard that the mailroom is really shorthanded. Yeah, and why do you care? I mean, maybe there's a job opportunity for me. Oh, you come looking for a job? I know that every letter sent in the prison undergoes inspection. I used to be a journalist, so I have a keen eye when it comes to written information. So if you need more people to inspect the mail, I should be able to handle it. Does sound pretty convincing. But Bruce is the one in charge of work assignments, so usually you have to go to him to apply. Hey, you sure are a journalist for reading between the lines. Since I'm in charge of distributing the mail and essentials, the warden gave me a little authority too. I can get an inmate a pass to the mail room for the purpose of assisting with delivery. That will let you go to the mail room. And when you get there, the guard will give you a job. How do I get a pass? $300. Don't want it for $300. Can you, can you do it now, Bruce? now I gotta come up with $300 really ask about working in the mailroom I heard the mailroom is hiring that's probably been there the whole time well aren't you well informed I haven't announced it yet but since you asked I'll tell you it used to be that William was the only inmate working in the mailroom now the warden has introduced a package service but he's so slow he just can't keep up anymore so the warden approved one more job slot only one that's right only one the mail room is an important place we can't just let anyone in there you need to show a specific work card to get in and out of course i'm the one who decides who's eligible according to the rules new fish like you ain't allowed to work in such high security areas but seeing how we're partners who would who have worked together before how about this 50 gold conduct credits in two days and i'll give you the job Uh, I did that already. Did I screw up? 
No, I did it. Good. Application is approved. From now on, you can work in the mailroom. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's call Maggie, huh? Thirteen, eight, one, nine. Answers the phone. Hello. Hi, Maggie. It's me. Hi, Tomas. Small talk. Maggie, I want to talk with you for a little. Okay, I'm not busy right now. I can keep you company. What do you want to talk about? Funny stories. Exclusive from a prison reporter? Well, I simply must hear that. Good. We're making her laugh. That's pretty funny. I like that kind of dark humor. So is there anything else you want to talk to her about? No, that's it. Maggie, I should go now. Okay, take care of yourself. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye, Maggie. All right. We're ending the day with $107. We can work in the mail room now. Everybody loves us. Everything's better than it's ever been. Do I got to poop? Yeah, let's let you know what? Let's poop. Nothing like a good fox poop. Comfort has gone up. All right. I think I heard something. Hmm. Sounds like my toilet's leaking. Investigate the leak. The dripping still hasn't stopped. I better find out what's broken. Examine the toilet. Beautiful. Perfect. A six. I think I found the cause. Seems that the screws securing the toilet are loose. So the water in the pipe behind the wall is seeping in. Since the screws are loose, it might be possible to remove the entire toilet. Then I can go through the hole and get into the pipe area behind the wall. There should be a passageways all over the inside and no guards patrolling. This should be a good starting point if I want to go out and about. Let's think about tools. Need a disassembly tool to undo the screws. Look at the notch on top. Maybe I could try using a coin. But it would be much more efficient if I could craft some more suitable tools. There are people coming and going in the corridor all day long. I'd almost certainly be discovered. Guess after lockdown would be the best time to do it. And only when my cellmate is asleep. Once it's disassembled, there's still a problem. The guards patrolling at night. Although they just go through the motions, it'll be way too obvious if there's not even anyone in the bed. Just to be on the safe side, I should use a pillow to make a dummy. Phew, doesn't look like it's going to be an easy task. I better settle in for the long haul. Sounds great, Tomas. Let's rest until lockdown. And get ourselves to sleep. End the day. No nightmares tonight, huh, Tomas? Entering dream. Hmm. Think I smell something. Something really special. Oh, no. End it. What the hell are those suckers in Fang? It looks like it's moving. Hey, get off the table. I'm not eating that. No matter how hungry I am. I won't. Won't. He got dream attacked. Even though it shouldn't affect me. This guy read all night. Guess it's time to get up. But it was so cold last night, I should have put a blanket on. Oh, I'm going to die. I need a blanket. All right, get up. That's going to do it. Never mind. Okay, the nightmare doesn't matter, though. It's fine. If you have no sleeplessness, you will gain all attributes plus one the next day. Hell yeah, enable that. Perfect. All right, boys and girls, that's going to do it for day three of Back to the Dawn. I appreciate you guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to Nelly, our channel's first and only member. If you'd like to become a member and support me, the join button is on my channel page. I appreciate you guys. I love you. You have a great rest of your day.